Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. In today's lecture, we will discuss fractional factorial design. I will introduce this concept introduction. So, you have seen earlier factorial that is full factorial design, full factorial design. So, it is 2 to the power 2 design, 2 to the power 3 design, 2 to the power 4 design as such 2 to the power k full factorial design. So, we our job today is from full to fractional, it will be something like 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial design. When we go for fractional factorial design from full factorial design, so there will be lot of changes and there are conceptual issues, there are estimation issues and there are design issues. So, all those things will be discussed in this introduction lecture on fractional factorial design and subsequent lectures we will show you the uh, uh, examples and the higher order calculations. Today we introduce this subject uh, this concept and then I will go for one half fractional factorial design and then how the one half fractional factorial design will be constructed. One example will be shown to you and then there is another important concept called design resolution, design resolution will be will be discussed. It is it may take time, but we will try if not otherwise in the next lecture we will start with design resolution. So, obviously you may be thinking that the um, lectures if you if you see from the beginning to today's lecture that initially we have started with several factors and each factors with several levels and then from there like we have started with suppose factor A with A number of labels, B with B number of labels. So, like this K factors with K number of labels. Then from there we have gone, we have reduced this labels to 2, A equal to B equal to C all do, those things will be equal to 2. So, label 2. So, then, then to the power K factorial design that is evolved to the power k factorial design is evolved. We said that why to the power k is required because if we go for a label for factor a, b label for factor b and as such there are many factors with many levels, then the number of treatment combination will become very large and it is impossible for uh, the experimenter to conduct experiment from the cost point of view, time point of view, resource point of view. And, and it will be so costly that may be the, uh, it, it, is a, it will be a feasibility issue also for conducting such experiment. So, we, we say that to the power k factorial design from full to to the power k factorial design we have considered. So, these are all to the power k factorial design. Now, even in to the power k factorial design, 
suppose a, 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 if k equal to 10 then 2 to the power 10 means it is 1024. So, these many experimental con con condition this many experimental runs with single replicate it is required. So, if I have k number of factors each at two levels, so you require a large number of experiment to be conducted. So, that means, here also there is problem for experimentation, physical experimentation. So, what you require to do that? So, is there any other way to reduce the number of experimental runs? without losing much the information that we want to achieve or the objectives that we want to accomplish. So, this is possible if you go if you reduce the number of runs further and that concept is fractional factorial design fractional factorial design. Okay. So, when we go for fractional factorial design, these are, the, these are the situations. When number of factors become large, you cannot conduct large number of experiments. When the objective is to screen factors, so it is, it is basically to see that which are the factors that are having effects, which are having not effect. So, to screen out the trivial factors from further, analy further analysis or experimentation. And when it is intended to get direction for further experiments. So, that means, the fractional factorial design help you to find out, find out that what are the key factors that are contributing and at the same time it will tell you that in which direction you go for further experimentation. So, that you will get better results when you go for fractional factorial design. Now, the next question is fine. So, when I require I have large number of factors, I want to screen out the factors and I want the future direction of experimentation, I will go for fractional factorial design, but then uh, you may be uh, interested to know what do we mean by uh, fractional, fractional factorial that part I have not told you. So, I told you that if that 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial design that is what I told you. You just consider a case with 2 to the power 3 factorial design. So, how many treatment combination 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 treatment combinations. Okay. So, then if I write the factors are A, B, then A, B I can write here, then C, A, C, P, C, A, B, C. This kind of notation you have seen earlier. So, how many combination? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you recall, we say this is minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. This one minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus. Then these two when you multiply a and b you get plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus then c will be minus 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 plus 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 okay if you recall that i said that to the power j minus 1 plus minus uh, minus plus alternatively when j equal to here 1 2 here 3 this is first factor, second factor, third factor. So, 2 to the power 3 minus 1 means 2 to the power 2, 4, so 4 minus followed by 4 plus. 
then what happened e a c if you multiplied a and c this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus minus then this one will be minus this will be plus this will be minus plus minus plus 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 so 1 2 3 4 4 plus 4 minus will be there so like this what will be the a b c if i multiply a b and c then this is minus then that means a b into c so a b plus minus 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 plus a b into c minus minus plus plus minus minus plus 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 minus plus minus minus plus minus plus 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 so minus minus okay 4 4 4 1 2 3 4 and b c minus 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 plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus minus 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 plus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus minus plus minus minus this also minus then minus plus minus plus 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 this is what is the algebraic uh, that sign matrix what you have seen earlier ok now here you do some kind of um, readjustment suppose you just keep a b c only plus one side top up and only minus. So, a b c plus 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 then minus 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 this this differentiation this kind of difference you make and then you will get a table like this you see this is the table in this table we create two halves for a b c 4 plus with 4 minus. Now, let you will conduct experiments only with the combination a b c and a b c. Then what, what is the design? Design is 2 to the power 3 minus 1. So, or 1 by 2 to the power 3 that is known as half fraction. Okay. Suppose you you have you have four factors instead of three, now you consider four factors a, b, c, d. This will increase. So, treatment combination to the power will be 16. Now, suppose that you can you can run only four experiments, only four. And if you do this, what are you doing then? Two to the power four minus two. That means one by four two to the power four. Design you are implying that is one fourth. One fourth fraction. 1 fourth fraction. So, in general that is why in general if I we say that 2 to the power k minus p fraction means that means 1 by 2 to the power p 2 to the power k. So, 1 p th fourth that is p th fraction I mean 2 to the power p th fraction this is the design. Hmm. So, if I go by this way, you all know that the cube, the geometric view also you know, geometric interpretation you know. You, you that means in in case of in case of fractional factorial design, instead of 
taking all the factorial points for, for experiment, you split it into two halves, one half where you may be depending on this, you may end plus another half. So, two halves here A B C all positives, positive values four positive, here may be A B C all four negatives. So, any one half you can consider and conduct the experiment. So, that is half fraction. So, now if it is to the power 4, then if you want one fourth. So, you are basically finding out four different part segmentation. So, here if I consider if I consider in this case if I consider this is my a a factor this is our b factor and this side a c factor. So, then then what will happen suppose if I start with this this is 1 this is your a this is b and and this one will be a b and this will be c this will be a c and now it is this actually one minute so a b b c then one more is there b c is and a b c suppose if i go for you see the slide now so if i go for uh -huh. If I go for A B C plus, then you are experimenting A B C and A B C. So, where is A? Your A, where is B? B, where is C? C and where is A B C? This. Then rest, these are all plus A B C plus like this. So, rest will be A B C minus where this then this one, this one and this one. This is called one half up to the power 3. Now, if you say one half up to the power 4, then what will happen? There will be one more factor d and d suppose this is for d positive. Similarly, another one will be for d negative and you will be doing it. So, in general when you che you make it 2 to the power k minus p that is known as 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial design. Okay. So, then what we have said? We have said so far that that 2 to the power k full factorial design may not be possible in many situation particularly when you have large number of factors. Under such situation if the objective is to screen out the factors and to find out further direction of experimentation, then you can adopt fractional factorial design. Fractional factorial design the concept is that there, there will be some way to identify less number of experimental runs and one of the ways I, we have demonstrated here considering A B C all plus and all minus. Although I have given this arbitrarily that why all plus and all minus separately taken out. So, that mathematics I have not said or that concept I have not discussed so far. I will discuss this, but please keep in mind that there is a scientific way to find out find out a fraction of the full to the power k factorial design that fraction can be half fraction when p equal to 1, p equal to 1 half fraction, p equal to 2 then it is 1 fourth fraction. So, like this 1 fourth 1 p th and p equal to p 1 p th. Okay, so, this is what is known as fractional factorial design. To repeat it again, if you have 2 to the power 3 
factorial design it is uh, the rule that you will conduct experiment all in all the factorial points. If you cannot conduct experiment on all the factorial points due to resource crunch you go for fractional factorial design and there instead of all the corner points factorial points you choose one half of this or one fourth of this one fourth here is not uh, not good one, but one half of this and this then you will be doing experiment on selected point factorial points. So, that is known as fractional factorial design. So, how you come to the factor factorial points where experiment will be conducted is an issue and here using a b c all positive and all negative we have shown the split of this to the power k factorial to to the power k minus 1 factorial design ok. Now, you will be interested to know that if I I split this the the 2 to the power k factorial points into 2 to the power k minus p factorial points. So, you are after doing experiment. So, that means, you will not do experiment on both the both the k, uh, split you will do experiment either here or here. If you do both actually you are doing this same thing again. So, that is why you will take one of the two. So, question is that mean four different important treatment combinations are not considered. So, then if I if I do not do experiment all this this four in reference to this example in the four different points like this, this, uh, this and this. So, I will be losing information. So, if I lose information then how do I conclude from the results or how do I analyze the experimental data and subsequently conclude from the analysis that what are the factors that are affecting, what are the factors that are not, not affecting. So, this there will be errors or there will be there will be concerns. So, then your question will be then how does fractional factorial engine works, why fractional factorial uh, design works that is an important issue. Fortunately, we have some important properties and that will help us conducting fractional factorial design. What are those properties? First property is the parsity of the parsity is parsity of effects principle. this is the first. What is the sparsity of effect principle? If you have large number of factors, suppose you have k number of factors, let k equal to 4, then how many main effects? Main effects will be a, b, c and d. How many two way interaction effects? 2 a interaction will be a b a c a d b c b d c d. How many 3 way interaction effects a b c a b d b c d a b c a b d a c d a c d b c d. How many four way interaction effects a b c d. So, we know this will be k equal to 4, this will be 4 c 2, this is 4 c 3, this is 4 c 4. So, 4 c 2 means 4 into 3 by 2 it will be 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 this will be 4 and this will be 1. So, 6 plus 11 15 interactions will be there. 15 effects. So, the parsity of effects. So, there are 15 effects, some are lower order effects like main effects, lower order interaction effects, 
and then higher order interaction effects. Parsity of effect principle says that in general the higher order interaction effects are negligible. What does it mean? The contribution of higher order interaction effects on the response variable responses will become negligible. So, you may not uh, given a situation you may not estimate this third and fourth order interactions. So, now you require 15 fx to be estimated if you do not do third and fourth order that means, 5 different effects you do not require to estimate. So, as a result even with less number of experimental data you will be able to conduct some analysis and get some useful results. Second principle is the projection property. What is this projection property? The projection property mean if you suppose you consider a 2 to the power 3 design. Now, you consider you are not you are not able to do all runs. So, you are going for 2 to the power 3 minus 1 design. Although in 2 to the power 3 design case, this is this is fractional but this is not this is not fractional in two dimensions. In three factor case simultaneously it is fractional not giving you the full, but if you project into the lower dimensions then it will become full to the power k factorial. So, that means what may what do you mean that mean you have full information all from the factorial points point of view in the lower dimension even if you do fractional factorial at the higher dimensions. So, that is known that is the projection property means in lower dimensions you have full information to get all the effects at lower dimensions. And the third property is sequential sequential experimentation. What does it mean by sequential experimentation? The uh, sequential experimentation means here this 2 to the power 3 design you split into 2 to the power 3 minus 1. Let you have you have done experiment with this the first half and you got some results you may not be happy. In that case what happened you require conducting another experiment. So, you go you consider the second part. So, after conducting the second part experiments when you combine the two you have this full. So, this is what is the usefulness. Suppose when I conduct the first one and I, you are happy with the results you do not require to go for the second one because you are screening as well as for further experimentation point of view the information you got from this. If you do not get from this you go for the other half and then the combined these two combined will give you the full one you have complete information as in terms of 2 to the power k factorial design. So, these three properties enables the experimenter conducting fractional factorial design because this will give useful results it is not arbitrary it is a good one. Now, I come to that another one that one very important concept called that how defining relations okay, or generator. So, you see the this this table to the power 3 minus 1 d. So, and this is this is basically to the power 3 full design. Now, we have we have uh, written I A B C in a special manner. So, that you will get a all po 4 positives first followed by 4 negatives. And if you see this table 
you see this table there is one column called i in the and if you see the symbol in i and a b c both are same here plus 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 here plus 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 in the first half so we can say i equal to a b c i equal to a b c okay now beforehand or other way i can say that in earlier uh, example i have shown suppose if i multiplied if i multiplied this i into c if i say c a c i then you will multiply this a b into c means c square c i a c is equal to a b because c square equal to i c equal to i. So, that means, if you see the plus and minus sign in the table. So, you see that uh, c equal to a b because c is a minus 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 plus 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 c equal to a b. So, if I do one half here. So, my my design matrix or the factorial effect matrix will be suppose let us let us consider uh, the top one let it be. So, a b c a b c then i plus 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 then your a it is plus minus minus sorry plus minus minus plus then b b is your minus and then followed by plus followed by minus followed by plus then your a b is minus plus minus minus plus plus and then c is your minus minus plus plus. So, minus minus plus plus a c is minus plus minus plus b c is plus minus minus plus and a b c is plus 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 ok. So, interesting pattern you see in the contrast and you all know that this multiplied by this will become give you the contrast suppose a here minus c a plus c the b c part plus minus 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 plus plus. So, that means the contrast for these as these are same. So, that means what will happen here you cannot estimate A and B C separately they are confounding it. Second one if you see B and A C you see you see b and a c minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus they are confounded. Similarly, these two are that these two confounded. That means, if you do one half you will not with this you will not be able to estimate all the effects uniquely. Some of the effects will be confounded with others this is known as alias structures alias. Okay. And here this concept i equal to a b c 
this is called the generator generator of a particular fraction. So, this half is created considering i equal to a b c. If you consider i equal to minus a b c, you will create the another half, where things will be a another half will be a b a c b c and 1. This few we have not considered and all those things will be there. There what you will find out i all plus 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 plus, but when you go for a b c here they will be all minus 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 minus. So, that means, this is a very important concept called generator. This generator helps you in doing the fraction fractionalization and when you do such fractionalization such, such kind of fractional design what will happen you will find you will see that you are not in a position to uniquely estimate all the effects. Some of the effects are confounded with some other effects. Okay. So, with this I conclude the first lecture and so what we have discussed so far we have discussed that what is fractional factorial factorial and why it is needed it is needed how does it work and how to generate how to generate fractional factorial design. So, in, in this process also I talk about that generator, talk about aliases, talk about confounding and all those things we have discussed. In the next lecture, I will show you that the estimation part, effect estimation part, the uh, with one and an example and the design resolution with reference to fractional factorial design. Thank you very much.